In this video, I will show you how you can create this water bulb manipulation using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drew here and as you can see this is the final output. Now for this effect, I will use 4 stock images, the bulb, water, splash and fish and they are all from devintart.com and the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. Now to start this effect, first of all we go to file menu and open the image. So you will have this bulb image so go and select it and open it. Now I will go and double click on my background layer and unlock it. After that I need to make a copy of it just for the backup. So I'm gonna press ctrl J to make a copy and then I will go and double click on this name and rename it as backup in case we screw up something. So you have this layer zero copy right? So select it. Now first thing we will do is we will remove this uh, inner part so we can have plain simple bulb. To do that uh, you go here and you select your lasso tool. You right click here and lasso. After that make a selection of just the, this little part okay. Don't uh, select the entire one just to this little part. Then you go to edit and fill. Now in the fill you have option for content aware. Go that and hit ok. So as you can see that is gone. Now we'll go to select and go to deselect. Now we will make selection of this part uh, as you can see here uh, like this. Again go to edit fill. Uh, and content aware hit ok now that is gone uh, select and deselect now for the rest of the part you can select your clone tool from here as you can see right click uh, clone stamp tool now first you have to sample it from somewhere so you hold your alter key click somewhere uh, and now you can remove it again you hold your alt key uh, you click here uh, and now you can remove it uh, just like that uh, so do it carefully after that I will remove a little bit from here so it doesn't look very repetitive uh, and that's it. So take your time and do it carefully. Now the bulb is ready and we can add some shadows. So to do that you go and click on the second last icon and create a new blank layer. Uh, select right click here and select your elliptical marquee tool and then you go and make a selection a little bit like that. So that is good. Uh, select your paint bucket tool and make sure color is black and fill it now go to select deselect so selection is gone after that go to filter blur and go to gaussian blur so in the gaussian blur make sure it's not too much uh, 10 11 pixel looks really good and hit ok and now reduce the opacity to somewhere around let's say 30 40 uh, percent that is nice and your shadow is ready now we can add in the water to do that you go to your file menu and then you select the place and you have this water image here so you go and select it and you place it. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see properly. So put it here. Now go and change its blending mode to multiply so we can see it properly and after that go and confirm it. Now I'm gonna go and select my move tool from here and I will adjust it uh, until it looks proper to me. So halfway is uh, proper, uh, keep it in the middle that looks great. Now we have to remove the unnecessary area but I'm not going to use eraser, instead we will use layer mask. So click on this third option here, so as you can see we have layer mask here. Now you go and select your brush tool and in the brush tool uh, go here and make sure your hardness is 0%, opacity is 100 and color is black. Now you can go and erase it just like that. And I'm gonna make my brush bigger using bracket keys uh, so I'm gonna go and remove it uh, like that. Keep making it smaller and bigger and for that use your bracket keys uh, they are really helpful and saves time. So I'm gonna go and remove it carefully uh, so that looks nice. Now when you are really near to the bulb uh, go and make your brush really smaller I think this small and then you go and remove it carefully. Uh, take your time don't rush this thing okay and the biggest advantage of brush tool is that let's say you remove something like this all you have to do is change your color to white and then you can change it back again see that's awesome so now I'm gonna go and remove the unnecessary area
So as you can see now it's looking good but it's not very colorful. So to do that you go to your adjustment layer and you select hue and saturation. In the hue saturation first thing you do is you turn on your clipping mask so now it will only affect your water layer. After that uh, you change your hue to somewhere around 12 to 13 and increase the saturation to around 40-45% so it's a little bit colorful. And then I will also increase my lightness a little bit so it's a bit brighter and looks really nice. So now if we turn it on and off as you can see it looks much better now. And I'm gonna go and close it. Now we can add in the fish. So to do that you can go to file menu, uh, again go to place and here you have fish file. So select your fish and place it. Now it is really small so I'm gonna hold my shift key and I will make it bigger uh, like that big enough so that we can have two big fish in the bulb so i think this looks nice then i'm gonna go and confirm it now as you can see the background is already cut out so you don't have to do that work and my two favorite fish is ron and harry other one i don't like them so i'm gonna go and select to my lasso tool here as you can see and i will make the selection of them two uh, just like that after that I will right click and I select layer via copy. So now if I turn this my original fish layer off as you can see we have those two on different layer. So this is now unnecessary and I'm gonna go and delete it. Now I will activate my layer to the fish layer and then I will press ctrl T. So this way I can make them smaller or bigger and always hold shift key when you make them smaller or bigger. Uh, so I'm gonna make it smaller and then I will rotate it a little bit because I want this one to be outside uh, slightly uh, and adjust it. So that looks really nice and I'm gonna go and confirm it. Now you go and change the opacity of your fish layer to some 75 to 80 percent that looks really nice. Now the fish and water looks really good and we can add in the splash. So for that I'm again gonna go to my file menu, uh, go to place and we have this water splash here gonna go and place it and just like last time hold your shift key and make it bigger I want it to be big enough so it covers the bulb uh, so I think uh, that looks really nice and also I'm gonna go and rotate it a little bit here uh, maybe make a little bit bigger uh, okay so that looks really nice and a touch more here so as you can see I made sure that it also covers the bottom of the bulb so this looks really nice and I'm gonna go and confirm it. Now I'm gonna go and change the blending mode of this layer to overlay and then I will change its opacity to somewhere around 80 to 90 percent not too much uh, so that looks really nice. Now just like the last time we have to remove the unnecessary area so what do we do we go and click on the layer mask. Uh, select our brush tool make sure it's 100% and really soft brush black color and then we go and remove it and whenever you do this make sure you are painting on layer brush not on image okay here on layer mask so I'm gonna go and paint it and remove it from the unnecessary area now this is looking good but if you look closely we have little bit of leftover area that is from our water layer as you can see but we don't need that so what do we do we activate the layer mask of the water layer uh, same brush black color and I will remove that portion from here a little bit uh, and here a little bit from here if you screw up something we can always paint something back uh, so a little bit here won't hurt and now if you zoom out uh, it looks really good but the fish are a little bit offset so I will adjust them. Now the final effect is looking really good but I want to make it more colorful. So to do that I will go and create new adjustment layer and select vibrance. And in the vibrance I will go and make it to somewhere around like 50-60%. So if we turn it on and off as you can see it looks much more colorful. And I'm gonna go and close it. So let's zoom out. So as you can see the final effect in bulb is ready and we can add some reflection so it looks even better. So to create them you go and create a new blank layer from the second last icon. Then you press Ctrl, Alter, Shift and E. So as you can see now we have a copy of image. Then you press Ctrl T, right click and select flip vertical. Then you go and put it here. If you can't see properly, you turn down the opacity so we can see it proper. Now I'm gonna go and move it here just like that. And you can rotate it a touch uh, just like that. 
and then I'm gonna go and confirm it now go and make the opacity to somewhere around 20% uh, yeah 20% seems fine then uh, we can remove the rest of the area here you can feel free to use eraser because we have no big trouble so I'm gonna go and make my eraser bigger and remove it from the unnecessary area just like that and that is it this is the final output <laughs> so I really hope that you guys like it and I really hope that you guys learned something if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestion feel free to ask me in comment section below so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop